Social work is the professional practice of helping people, and that can happen in a wide variety of ways and settings. Um, so we have an undergraduate program that prepares um, professionals to become um, professional practitioners of helping people in um, healthcare settings. They may practice in community agencies and social welfare agencies. Um, they might work with issues of homelessness, work with children, work with addictions issues, um, you know, work with a, a wide variety of populations to solve problems within society. And, and we view ourselves as partners um, with the individuals we work with. So we have a very collaborative type of working relationship with people that we try and assist in their goal, in their goal achievement. We can help them explore the different ways that that way might become possible. Um, for example, we have uh, three field opportunities where students could go into an agency setting and explore different ones. So, you know, one student might go into a criminal justice setting, one might go into a healthcare setting, and uh, another student might go into um, a domestic violence uh, support resource center. So a lot of students may start in one and then learn that another area is of interest. And the great thing is that our program is a generalist practice approach. So the skills are transferable across all types of social service environments. So someone may graduate our program thinking, you know, they prefer to work in one environment, but the skills are, are transferable. So if they have a need or desire to change in the future, they have that opportunity. So the flexibility is very nice. We're also the largest provider of mental health services in the United States. And so um, if students would go on to pursue a graduate degree after our program, um, they can also be involved in that more clinical type of social work. And our program's accredited by the Council on Social Work Education. So if students achieve a B or better in our social work courses, a lot of those would transfer through to their graduate program and they might be able to finish uh, in a lesser amount of time, maybe as little as a year. So our, our program really does have a lot to offer people. And we offer it in um, two formats, a traditional day program format and an online hybrid program format for those who may be working and want to pursue the degree or have family or other life responsibilities that would make it difficult otherwise. So a lot of our students do consider a minor. Um, we have enough flexibility in our curriculum where a minor is very reasonable for most students to achieve. Um, we offer two within our department. One is the addictions counseling minor. So for individuals interested in helping those with um, drug and alcohol or other addiction problems, that may be a good fit. Um, the other one that I'm directly involved with is the gerontology minor. So for those interested in working with older adults, um, we're, we're facing a situation in society where one in six um, individuals will be at, at uh, older adult status within maybe the next five or 10 years. So th that's definitely an area with a lot of growth potential. Um, some students take other related minors that may not be hosted in our department but are available to them, maybe in the psychology department or other things like that. So my, my advice would be, you know, finding a good balance between what's practical and supports your needs as you become an independent adult and also assists other people in society. There's a balance between those two things. And I think social work provides a nice um, opportunity for people to make a good living and, and assist other people. And, um, you know, being at Misericordia, we have values of, you know, uh, mercy, service, justice and hospitality. Um, and they line up very closely with our major. So for me, I enjoy, as a social worker, being able to um, help people with a wide, wide array of problems. And I think you know, a lot of younger people um, you know, today may, may be interested in, in doing that as a career option. I mean, how rewarding is that to make a living, being able to help solve significant problems and, and partner with people as they do that as well. That's a good thing. Um, so we believe in hands-on value, um, and, and so that's one thing that is unique about our program. We actually have our, our students in the field a little bit more than maybe some other schools because we believe in the value of that. And so we have our first internship for 200 hours in the spring, and then we have a senior internship at another agency setting between both the fall and spring semesters. So they would get two different internship experiences. We also have service learning courses embedded in, in our curriculum too, where students might get to do some hands-on projects a little bit in a class as well. Uh, but in the field setting, um, 
they would begin by shadowing and, and seeing what somebody does in a social service setting. And then as their confidence and competence increases, they would be more directly working with individuals. And our students are able to make an impact. I've had students that have um, helped change processes at agencies or leave resources behind that impact the agency and clients even after they're done. Some of the employers in our area have even offered students employment um, after they've graduated in, in their senior experience and we have a good reputation and relationship with a lot of different types of um, placement opportunities. I have some students in um, public defender's office, some at the Children's Service Center working directly with kids. I have some working in addictions. I have a student in an inpatient hospital unit, one at a hospice uh, agency. Um, I have a few more that I'm arranging for next semester at a domestic violence center. So there's very practical opportunities to get out there and see what the, what the work looks like. So in the classroom, we teach people about the theory and then we teach them what that theory looks like in the real world. And they gain the additional benefit of having some um, outside people give an, an additional layer of feedback and, and support to them. By 1975 at Misericordia, we had uh, an accredited program by the Council on Social Work Education, which oversees accreditation for social work programs. So we have a long history of being in an accredited program that meets rigorous standards that are consistent um, with our accreditors' expectations to produce a student uh, experience that prepares them for real, real world work. What's really exciting in Pennsylvania is we just got uh, licensure approved at the bachelor's level. Um, we've been fighting for that within our professional association for about 10 years, and we've, we've reached that point where that's now possible. So that differentiates social workers from other human services professions more explicitly and helps define and protect the role of social worker. And so that often translates to maybe a little bit better pay and protection for the professional, um, in addition to ensuring you know, the safety of individuals that, that um, social workers might work with, that they have a certain level of expertise and training. Why social work? Because um, people were, are worth investing in. And in terms of the relationships we have with students, we're a small program and we have very um, close-knit opportunities to develop rapport and relationships with our students. So, um, for example, I have a few students that have an interest in gerontology and that's my, my area of practice interest. So I can sometimes connect them to unique trainings and opportunities and things that you know, would be specific to their interests. Or even if it's not my area of expertise, I can research it and help them find, find some resources or our other faculty member also make that up. We have a great, um, a great collection of adjunct faculty as well. So we have an attorney uh, social worker. We have some other doctorally prepared social work faculty as well. So we have a really great team that's available to work with students even outside of the classroom too and kind of help them um, you know, develop a sense of what it is they hope to do after the program. So I chose Misericordia as a place to work. Um, my passion for Misericordia started as a student, so I did my undergraduate social work study here and then went on to finish my master's degree and I'm, I'm currently completing my um, PhD. But what stuck out to me was the commitment to specific values of mercy, service, and justice. Um, Misericordia is known for its participation in the community. So we have a lot of clinics and volunteer opportunities where we give back. Our graduates are known as people who take on challenges in the community. Um, before I took this job full time, I was working in a hospital setting. And what I noticed about a lot of the individuals I worked with that were Misericordia graduates was there was a difference. And there was a lot of good people. And, um, but there was a difference in the Misericordia students in particular. They, they had a values base that was very strong. They had a lot of experience um, from their practical work that was integrated into the curriculum. So it just felt like a very natural transition to come back and um, reconsider my role as a faculty member. And I've, I've never looked back since then.